Hey guys, welcome to part three in my video series of fighting false copyright claims for Fall Guys gameplay. You will be happy to hear that we have a good ending to this story. Uh, so I just tweeted this out. I finally got an email from OML Affiliate and uh, basically they said that they decided to release the copyright claim on my YouTube video. So if you go look at my channel now on that video that I got uh, claimed on, there are no restrictions. The claim has been lifted. And I gotta say, uh, hats off to Tom Maybot. Right after I tweeted this out, I thanked him and Team YouTube for their help, but particularly uh, Tom May. And he replied back and he said, cheers friend and sorry for the trouble. And I said, it's all good. I appreciate that you helped it get resolved quickly. Cheers to you as well, friend. Um, so that was really cool. Like I said before, when you have a, a massive online presence, um, I mean, gosh, this guy has six and a half million followers and he replied back to me within like a couple minutes. So hats off to you, Ton May. Like that was really cool. And uh, looks like I made a new friend. So happy endings all around. Uh, I also wanted to mention that I saw a bunch of other people reply back to me um, saying that they got theirs released as well because a whole bunch of YouTubers rallied around and said that they were getting the same copyright claims. It looks like OML Affiliate has been releasing the claims. So if you get a claim, dispute it and it should be taken care of. Now, as a reminder, this all started when Tanmay Bot made a video called Roasting Harsh Benny Wall, and his copyright holder, OML Affiliate, started doing false copyright claims on a whole bunch of YouTubers. Now, fortunately, we were able to get this resolved rather quickly, but it does make me wonder, if I hadn't said anything on Twitter and a bunch of other users hadn't retweeted me and given me a signal boost, would OM Affiliate have really removed those false claims after 30 days? I have my own theories on that, but uh, point is, um, sometimes if this stuff happens to you, you gotta go to Twitter and make a little bit of noise to get things fixed, and we did have a happy ending, um, but it does make me wonder what would have happened if we had just gone through the normal process without going to Twitter. Anyway, thanks again to everybody who retweeted me. I would not have been able to get this fixed if I didn't have a whole bunch of other users come together and rally around getting this corrected. So we won this battle and it's really nice to know that we got things resolved. Hopefully this will be the last video in this series, but uh, if another copyright holder makes a false claim, then we will be back and we'll do it again. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like and consider subscribing if you want to see more Fall Guys content. So, what do we do now? Now we can finally play the game. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next stream.